Hello and happy Friday. This is Bullet, aka the Passive Aggressive Sherpa. Today we're taking a look at Zer's inventory. One note before we get started, Bungie's This Week at Bungie blog post went live yesterday. As usual, the link will be below in the description, so you can check it out should you choose. A few things to note. First, the revelry ends this coming Tuesday, so if you haven't collected all the lore you need to get at it, I haven't been able to play much, but I have been loving being able to spam those grenades. I know a lot of people have been whining about it in the Crucible, but I don't take them so seriously because these are the same people that whine about the Crucible no matter what. As for me, it has at least made it somewhat tolerable these past few weeks. Even, dare I say, fun. I have wanted to head into Nightfall and tear it up with some grenade action. But I just haven't had the time. And to be honest, I haven't had the desire. The Nightfalls, for me, they're horrible. It's just a thing that's there and nothing more. It used to mean something. I mean, for fuck's sakes, Esoteric just soloed a Nightfall using nothing but his fucking Titan shield. No weapons, no guns, shield only. The guy's not human, but that's, that's besides the point. So yes, this is what the Nightfall has become. I'm not saying it's easy, but it just doesn't take the, the effort it used to take. There's no, at least for me, there's no sense of, of I did it anymore. Everything in the Crucible bores me. That's all that's left. There's a Crucible, boring. Horde mode, really boring. I mean, it's fun, like you do a round and then I'm like, okay, that's all I need to do. And everything is Horde mode now. We haven't had a new strike in months. Everything is a grind, so there's not really any time to have fun. It's like you're always grinding for something. You're always chasing some lore piece. And I miss the days when I could just go in. And I, I, in Destiny, there were days I literally went in and spent hours just running the heroic strikes. And it was fun. Hoping these change with the new season next month. But if it's anything like these past two seasons... You're going to continue to see your favorite Destiny gamers making more and more videos for other games than they do for Destiny. And this just saddens me. The next big question, though, that they sort of answered in the TWAB, but I don't understand it, is the deal with the Zer Bounty for the Invitation of the Nine. They say that the next big game update is Tuesday, the 7th. Update 2.2.2. They will fix the issue with the bounty we had last week where it couldn't be completed. That's all fine and good, but Zer is here today. Is there no new bounty available? We shall see, my friends. Anyways, don't forget to keep the uh, to check for the bungee update if you want to see everything that I left out or more specific detail than I gave. Don't forget to check the link for it in the description below. Okay, enough rambling. Back to Zer. The mysterious one is on Giant Scar on Io in the usual spot. If you don't know where that is, just follow my path. At the top, you'll see the Faded Engram. If you don't know, you can use 97 Legendary Shards to buy one. This Engram features Forsaken Exotics now. So, enjoy and catch up. Alright, on to Xur's Exotic Inventory. Alright, the weapon this week is the Huckleberry. Not a bad weapon. I, I have fun with this. Not often, but I have fun with it. Its primary perk is Ride the Bull. Increased rate of fire and recall, recoil while you're holding down the trigger. Kills with this weapon reload a portion of the magazine. And then we have the Baby Blue perks. Not a bad set of perks. Alright, and for the the uh, hunter in your life, we've got the Gemini Jesters. 
Their primary perk is misdirection, dodging disorients nearby enemies and temporarily removes their radar. This uh, isn't isn't bad. It's got some some decent perks, not not great, but yeah. Oh, for the Titan, we've got the Antius Wards. If you're someone, if you're one of those people that loves to slide with a shotgun, uh, this is like your dream come true. Its primary perk reflect events, improved slide, sliding reflects incoming projectiles, reflecting projectiles grants super energy. And then we have uh, the same set of uh, baby blue perks that we had for the Gemini Jesters. All right, for the Warlock, we have the Controverse Hold and its primary perk, Chaotic Exchanger. Resists incoming damage while charging your Void Grenade with Chaos Accelerant, Feed the Void, or Handheld Supernova. Charged Void Grenades return a random amount of grenade energy. Then we have the following Baby Blue perks. Sort of the only thing I think really good here is the fusion rifle loader and the machine gun scavenger. I tried these in the crucible and found them to be worthless. They would probably be much better in a PVE scenario. Moving on to the five of swords. You need these to set your handicap and any kind of modifiers you want for the nightfall. And here we have it. There's apparently no new Invitation of the Nine, so we can't move forward until next Friday. We're just kind of stuck in a holding pattern. So there you have it. As you see, I still have the, the Tower Bounty with the Vex portion incomplete. All right, uh, a side note. I will not be doing a video next Friday. My daughter is getting married. And uh, I, I have to attend, so uh, I will uh, not be here Friday next week. <sighs> I'm sorry you're going to have to do without me. Anyways, that's about it for this week. Remember, if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Maybe even hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a video. It doesn't happen often. These things are very much appreciated, however. And if we could get 1,187 likes on this video, that'd be great. But most of all, thanks for watching. But seriously, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.